What's up, ladybug? Is this how you study for your exams? Looking at your phone? What's up with the corny greeting? I've got a project coming up and I don't know who to ask to be my project partner. Look, I've narrowed it down to 10 people, but who will be the best project partner? And you sure they will all say yes to you? Imagine that 10 people willing to partner you. <laughs> Why not? I'm pretty awesome. Who should I pick? Want some help? You? Help? You don't even know who these people are. Trust me, I don't need to. I know math. We make decisions every day. From the little things to the really big ones. But how do you know your decision is the best? How do you know if you reject an offer, a better one will come along? The problem with many decisions is that number one, you don't know what's going to happen in the future. Number two, you can't take forever to make the decision. Number three, once you pick it, you got to stick with it. And here's where math can help. So, you have to pick a project partner in five weeks. Every week, you plan to talk to two people to check them out and see if they make good project partners. You don't want someone lazy who will leave you with all the work or someone who's hard to work with. So that means you will have 10 possible partners. What if you wait to the last one and realize that the better project partner was someone you rejected earlier? The problem is, once you talk to the person and don't pick her, you can't go back to her again. She'd probably be too mad to speak to you anyway. So, you have one chance to pick each person and one chance only. What then should you do? Pick the first girl you talk to? Wait till the last few to decide? Believe it or not, mathematicians have come up with a formula to help you decide. There's some really complex math based on probability, but I'll let you in on the good parts. According to math, reject the first 37% of people whom you talk to. This means not picking the first four people you speak to. Then, pick the next person who is better than the first four you met and rejected. This makes sense. If you pick the first person you talk to to be your partner, that would mean you have only 1 in 10 chance of picking the best person. Or a 9 in 10 chance of someone better coming along after the first one. That's a high chance. If you wait too long though, your chance of having passed up on a good candidate increases. So, there is a best time to stop. And mathematicians have calculated that to be at 37%. So, I talk to the first four people but already make up my mind that I don't want to pick them? Yep. But what if I really like someone from the first four? You still don't pick them because there is a possibility that someone better will come along. And that possibility is 37%? Yep. After talking to the fourth person, you pick the next better person who comes along. Go figure! The mathematicians did it. I have to tell you, I'm really loving this math business more and more. Thanks to it, I've learned how to schedule my revision better, I know how much sleep I need and when to sleep. And now, a perfect project partner. Isn't math awesome? It is. And if you keep hanging with us, we can show you how you can use math to make your everyday even better. And more ways to show how you can use math to make, make it, it count. count. Did you enjoy this episode of Make It Count? Keep hanging with us. We have more ways to show you how math can make your everyday better.